Okay, let's talk about the W sound and some of the things you can do to teach it. So um, there's three different things that I usually use. One of them is that I, I ask them to um, use their fish lips. So say something like this, like, okay, we're going to use our fish lips like this. You know, fish have big lips. Make your lips move like a fish. Oh, good job. So now let's use some of those, our fish lips, to say some sounds. Are you ready? And this is a visual phonics symbol for w. So we're going to, we would say like web. Get your fish lips out. Wish. Wagon. Okay. All right. Another thing that you can do is um, have them use kissy lips. Like you're going to give a kiss. All right, so pretend like you're going to give me a big kiss like this. A big kiss. Look like that. All right, keep your lips out there. And we're going to do our sounds. Ready? Here we go. Wagon. Do it again. Big kiss. Web. Good. Big kiss. Window. All right. And then um, one other thing that you can do to get those lips to, to for them to bring their lips out is have them act like they're surprised. All right, so we're going to do our surprise face. We're going to go, oh, wow. And then we're going to say wow afterwards. All right. And we, you can even like um, show the pictures on the, the One Minute Articulation app. And as soon as they see them, they have to go, oh, wow, like they're so surprised. All right, let's do our surprise face again. Ready? Put your lips around. Wow! All right. So W sound is usually a, um, one of the easier sounds for children to get to because it's visual and it, lips are easier to move than sometimes the tongue. So have fun with it.